Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. In today's video, we will explore the basic differences between the Instant Store and Elastic Block Store, which is EBS. Both Instant Store and EBS are the volumes for EC2 instance, but they differ in many aspects, like the architecture. Instant Store volumes are physically attached to the host computer, where the instance is running. They are considered ephemeral storage because they are tied to the life cycle of the instance. On the other hand, EBS volumes are network attached volumes that are separate from the EC2 instance. They are more like traditional hard drives and are not tied to the life cycle of the instance. You can detach the EBS volume from one instance and attach it to the other, preserving the data. Another aspect could be the persistence. Data on the instance store volumes is not persistent. If the instance is stopped or terminated, the data is lost. Whereas EBS volumes are persistent. The data stored on EBS volumes remains intact even if the associated EC2 instance is stopped. We can also consider the performance. Instance store volumes often provide better I.O., better input-output performance compared to EBS because they are physically attached to the host machine. However, the performance of the EBS volumes can be optimized by selecting the appropriate volume type, like the general purpose SSD or provisioned IOPS based on the workload requirement. And finally, use cases. Instant store volumes are ideal for temporary storage, like caching and scratch data, where data persistence is not critical. On the other hand, EBS is suitable where persistent storage and data durability are important, such as the database storage, the file systems, and application data that needs to survive after instance termination. So in summary, the choice between instance store volumes and EBS volumes depends on the specific requirement of your application, including the need for data persistence, performance, and the expected lifespan of the data. Thank you.